Man, what's cracking, y'all? I thought I had a trouble code that I was I had to, you know, look into. So uh So I went out to my car today. I went to walk the dog. So I went and messed with the car. I'm sitting in the car. It's a nice Saturday. It's cold outside, but the sun is out. So I said, you know what? Let me mess around. So I figured out that if I was to hold on to this button, as I turn the car on, I can turn this thing into a DTC reader. Check it out. This is how you do it. So what you want to do is, as you hold this, you hold this button down, right? As you hold that button down, you turn the car either on accessory mode, which is between off and completely on, or you can turn the car completely on. I don't have three hands, so I'm gonna have to sit the phone down as I turn the car on and hold this button down. See, you see that? I was quick with it, brought it back up. And this is testing the gauge pins. Does a full gauge sweep. Now what you do is to, to continue looking through the selections that this feature gives you, you wanna hit this button, all right? I guess I need some oil. And this is the full reading of your bulbs. Your dash bulbs. See if, and this is good for, you know, you buy a car or a Crown Victoria, any standard, you know, gauge cluster that comes with a Crown Victoria. I think it's with the 99s to the 2011s. You can see if any of these bulbs are out, if you're being duped or whatnot. I don't know what that means. As you can see, look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm hitting this button. And there you go, your diagnostic trouble codes. I have none. As you can see. So if you have any diagnostic trouble codes, and you have a 99 to a 2011 for Crown Victoria, or if you just replaced the, uh, the gauge cluster and you have the standard, or you have the optional gauge cluster that comes with the Panther platforms. Let me let me let me correct myself. This might be you let you guys let me know if you have a Mercury. Uh, Mercury Lifestyle, let me know, man. If you got the Mercury and you got the standard or the optional, let me know uh, if if uh, this works in your Mercury, bro. And, um, see, and you'll be able to test if you have any trouble codes or whatever the case may be in your Mercury, your uh, Crown Victoria, or any Panther platform car that has the standard gauge cluster. something else First. like I said I'm hitting the reset button I guess it's the temperature I'm gonna hit you guys with a video explaining what these uh, abbreviations mean that's the odometer reading so if you, I was to turn the car all the way on, you know, and drive it, you know, let me get a reading. Voltage. See? Pretty sure a lot of you guys wanted one of those battery voltage readers. You got one in your goddamn car now. So if you liking the content, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button. 
That way you can stay in tune with your boy, King Crown. And you can always be hit off with this exclusive content and information, man. As I come with it, I'm going to give it to you guys, man. I'm on no delay, man. I'm not going to hold no information, man. I'm not even going to hold you, man. I'm going to hit you with the information, man, that I get. And that's how you get your little, you know, now it's going to... It's gonna test the uh it's gonna do a gauge sweep again. Bam. You just you know toggle through this. You can see what's going on with your damn car, man. And you don't need no damn tools, man. You see, man, your battery voltage, man. Like I said, if, man, if you liking that, if, if if I helped you guys out, man, if you liking the info, man, I'm going to keep coming with it as I get it, man. So you guys hit that subscribe button, man. Like this video, share this video, save this video in case you guys forget, man. Let me explain to you one more goddamn time, man. As the car is off, when the car is off, man, you hold down this button. You can even turn it on accessory mode, which is between the off and on, you can turn this to accessory mode, turn your ignition to accessory mode, which is off between off and on. Or you can turn the car fully on, but you wanna do that at the same time you hold this up and you will see something that says test. And then once you see test, it'll say gauge and then your fucking gauges are sweet, man. Thank me later, man. All right, I'm gonna let you guys, man. I'm gonna make another run, holla. And to get rid of that screen, all you gotta do is turn the damn car off, man. And when you turn it back on, you back to normal play, man. When you turn it back on, you back to normal play, man. Yeah, man. there we go oh that's how you turn if you uh read if you want to read it in kilometers or miles that's how you toggle through that what you do is you hold on to it in case you guys didn't know about that yeah. uh, so that's how you uh Pull your diagnostic trouble codes off your uh, standard gauge cluster. Like I say, sus subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you haven't already, man, hit that like button. Share that thing, man. Like this video up, man. If this helps you out, make sure you save this video too in case you guys forget how to work this function on your standard gauge cluster to your either 99 to 2011 Panther platform. I'm gonna holler at you guys. I'm gone.